process uh, been like kind of getting ready to play, uh, you know, potentially for the first game on Sunday? It's been good. I mean, just treating it like any other week. Vrabel, you know, pre like pre preaches that we prepare as starters every week, regardless of what position or opportunity we have. So, I um, mean, if my name gets called, I'll be ready to go. But it's been a good week so far. I just got to keep building. What kind of work were you able to get in last week? Uh, Coach Vrabel said that you on the loose were in the throws or trailing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think our, our bye week might look a little different from other teams because we stay in and we get, get get a lot of good work in. And I think uh, with the potential opportunity coming up, that was big for us to, to get those reps with guys that, um, you know, we haven't been, uh, been able to have too many with uh, up to this point. So um, confidence building for sure. Mike has indicated both of you going to play at Ryan Camp. Give you an idea what that might look like? No, I mean, I just, I just know that we got the same game plan. We're both preparing for the same plays. Um, and if... If our name does get called, then we're going to be, have to be ready for all of it. Is that a unique experience for you, trying to prepare a game plan for a game, not even knowing what the game plan looks like? I mean, it just it, it tests just who you are as a, as a preparer, as a person. Uh, I think that, like I said, you got to treat it the same way, even if you know you're not going to play. Um, there always is that chance, so you always have to be ready. You chopping at the bit two play, I guess, since this August, and, and this kind of a big yeah, I mean, opportunity. I, this is what I love. I love football. I haven't been able to play it in a while, so I mean, I'm excited to get out there and play if uh, if that's what what needs to happen. And um, but yeah, just, I mean, just love love football. What's the biggest challenge with this possibly being your first NFL game regular season? What's the biggest challenge? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that people say, like what to look out for, whether it's the speed or whatever. Um, but. Just trying not to think about the challenges, just thinking about what my job is and, and doing the right thing and um, doing what the team needs me. You said something there about the same game plan. You don't think it's more kind of a yin-yang thing where you're matching kind of different skill sets? Uh, I mean, we'll see. I think that uh, pretty much what Malik can do, like I can do and vice versa. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're not thinking about it that way. We're preparing for all the plays. How do you think you've improved maybe since the last time we've seen you on the on a field in the preseason up until now, just what you've done in practice? Just comfort, just get, getting used to this team, getting used to, you know, playing in this league and everything that comes with it. And just with every practice rep that I get, whether it was on show team or, or with the ones, I'm trying to get the most out of it. And I think that just all those reps have built up and um, still got a long way to go, but it definitely improved since I first got here. Some rookies come in and play right away, right? You've been able to kind of sit behind Ryan and learn. Has that been beneficial to have a guy like him, a veteran in the business that you've been able to take stuff from? 100%, 100%. I mean, Ryan's been very involved in the meetings. I know he doesn't know um, if he's playing yet, you know? So, I mean, it's... Uh, he, he's also getting us ready for if, if our names are called. And I mean, he's been incredible to learn from and his experience goes a long way. And, um, you know, could have start, could have been with the team and played right away. Could have, you know, not played until uh, a point like whenever. But uh, like I said, the preparation stays the same and I'm glad that Ryan's along the way to help with that preparation. Well, what's it been like? Getting... You feel everything you were dealing with back in August? Feel yeah, like good now? I feel good, yeah, ready to go. What's it been like getting to work with uh, D-Hop and Traylon and NWI, the guys who are at the top of the depth chart as far as throwing and getting used to them? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, uh, having to step up and just have some more of those conversations about kind of what we're expecting from each other and the reps we're getting with each other are, are very valuable and just looking to make the most of them so that they can pay off if, if uh, the, the connection needs to happen on Sunday. What are you seeing as, as you prepare for the Falcons as far as what the challenge is going to be? Hey, I mean, they're a good, solid team. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we have a good idea of, you know, what they've shown so far, but also an idea of maybe some things that they haven't shown that we might have to be ready for. So, I mean, that's that's the name of the game. Um, not sticking 100% to the script and not being uh, thrown off when, when things go awry. Um, we, we're preparing our tails off. It's nice to have an extra week of preparation with the bye week, uh, so that helps. Um, but, I mean, it's a good defense, a good team. I know, you know, we got some ties, you know, with their staff and stuff, so... Uh, we've kept the conversations with them, at least the guys that know, you know, Art and them to a minimum this week. So, um, but excited to go out there and play a good game of ball. How much progress has been made since you got here with decision making and accuracy? Seventeen percent. I don't know, like <laughs> a little bit. Uh, like I mean, enough to make me feel confident to go out there and play. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's nerves. Nerves every game, whether you know you're third in the depth chart or or whatever. But I mean. Just gotta, you know, rely on, rely on your preparation and fall back and trust in your eyes and what you see. And uh, you know, once that first play happens, you know the ner nerves go away and you're just playing football at that point. Do you look at Stroud and Richardson and the guys you got to know in the draft process and see what they're doing? You know, well, I mean, it's just seen just from the teams we've prepped on, seen some tape on both of them, obviously. So, I mean, it's, it's great to see them uh, doing good things. And I mean, I wish them the best, except when they play us. You guys aren't in any kind of group chat 
dating back again, or where you kind of stayed in touch? Not in a group chat, no. Yeah. Um, stayed in touch here and there, but yeah. Um, yeah, not particularly like you know talking every day. Well, knowing that you haven't gotten to you know show uh, yourself to this point, what has helped you the most in terms of just staying patient and, and knowing that your time? Just trusting that uh, and knowing that my time was going to come and keeping the right mindset throughout that process. It can be hard and it can be discouraging at times, you know, but uh, it's a test of character and just hoping that um, that has helped me to be ready for when my name gets called. When you're not getting those reps, is it tougher to gauge development or is it something you can tell? Uh, I mean, I think it's tougher uh, just because you're not getting reps maybe with the, uh, you know, the guys uh, with the ones and everything, but that's why last week was so important. And, uh, and this week too, and every opportunity we can get to talk to and get reps with, with the guys that we don't usually get reps with. Luke, I guess what's the process been like to kind of get you geared up for the possibility of playing here on, uh, on Sunday? Well, the same as usual. Just go to practice and try to get better, uh, try to understand the game plan as you're starting. Frabe said he's looking for better game decisions for, from everybody in terms of, of game awareness. Can you talk through the play where you decided to, to go for the end zone instead of going out of bounds in Baltimore late? It was just a busted play. Uh, tried to make something happen. Like indicated that both of you would play. What is that like? like just, I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but from, from the standpoint of mixing two guys into the plan. I mean, I don't know what it's going to look like either. Well, so we'll see together. What has he told you? Uh, to be ready to go, prepare as a starter. Do you feel like in, in the game against Baltimore, were you able to show some of the things that you had learned from year one to year two, some of the ways that you've been able to progress? I mean, not really. I played two drives, so it's not much of a, you know, it's an opportunity. So I'm grateful for that, but it's not much of a showing, truly. What have you seen from Will, and how do you think you guys could do if, if Ron is not able to go on Sunday? I think we're going to try to go out there and win a game, whatever that looks like. Well, you, uh, we saw a lot of you, obviously, in training camp and the preseason games and such. What have you tried to concentrate on in the last six, seven weeks in practice, you know, with limited reps and such? Uh, continuing to just try to improve every day on whatever the coaches have for me. And uh, that includes every aspect of playing this position at a high level. How do you feel like last week went for you getting some of those extra reps with Ryan out? Um, I think it was cool. I think we got to have some some good time out there, get some good time in with some guys that we haven't usually been throwing to, and I think it was really fun to go out there and just play football. How did that timing progress? Can you reword that? How did how do you think that timing developed with some of those guys? I think it went good. Uh, like you say, you haven't had any reps with those guys, and then you get some, so that's probably beneficial for you the whole there, team. There could maybe be a yin and a yang to, to you and Will with different skill sets as to how it pieces together like a puzzle? I'm not sure. You have to ask Rage or uh, Tim. Uh, we just try to go out and execute whatever it's called. I know it was just two series, but in those series, having been after you made the progressions over the offseason, did it seem anything different? Was, like, was it slower or anything like that for you? I mean, there's not really much of a tell on that because we went from playing regular football to two-minute drill trying to get points on the board. So it wasn't really like our normal game. It was just a situation you're thrown into. But as you're in that situation and you're going through, you're reading your progressions and doing those things, did it seem different than it did last year? I don't think that you can compare those two, honestly. I mean, I played a few whole games last year, and you can't really compare that to two series and one which being – normal football and the next being two minute drill to try to get points and get back into the game. How much better prepared do you feel now versus having this happen with Ryan last year? I feel a lot better prepared for sure. All of them, you know. Thanks, man. No problem. Go out there and learn as much as I can to go out there, try to make plays the best way I can in practice and then just Soak up everything like a sponge for real. Coach said you showed up with a really good attitude. How important is that when you're going through a sudden change like, like you've gone through the last couple of days? I mean, honestly, you know, you can't uh, pout. You can't be sad or anything like that because it's a business. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you got to transition. This is what we signed up for. This is our job. So we got to go out there and do our job to the best of our ability and come out here and help the team out. And wherever they put me, if it's special teams, if it's on defense on Sunday, I'm going to just go out there, try my best to help us get a win. Do you those know about Mike Rabel as a coach and just kind of how he runs shop? I did. Uh, I actually came out here before I got drafted on a draft visit, on a pre-visit. So I came out here, talked to everyone, um, 
didn't know how everything was going to go in the draft, but then now everything circled back. The big shoes to fill with Kevin Byard, obviously been here for a long time. Uh, what are your thoughts on, I guess, just filling that role? Man, you know he's a great player. Uh, I'm not so much trying to fill his shoes or be him, uh, but at the same time, you know, just go out there, be myself, uh, not so much have all the expectations of me coming in and being KB because he's been a part of this organization for a long time. He gave a lot to this organization. He meant a lot to the NFL in, in totality. So uh, just coming out here and do the best way I can and just be the best player I can and just help the team out. What? My fault. Uh, you know, everybody's been very helpful. Uh, any questions I have, they, they're asking. I'm talking to coaches. Uh, numerous hours, uh, a lot of meetings these last few days, a lot of just talking to the linebackers, the safeties, the corners, uh, just getting all the verbiage right.